Senator Grace Paul says the Senate should go ahead and proceed with their own hearings on the potential renewal or end of the legislative franchise of broadcast network ABS-CBN. This, even as Poe acknowledges, they would still need to see how the House of Representatives moves or does not move on the matter. May I Los Banos with the details. While ABS-CBN's franchise bills are still languishing in the lower house, the Senate wants to start the ball rolling. Senator Grace Poe, who heads the Committee on Public Services, first proposed to deliberate on the network's alleged violations as part of the upper chamber's oversight function. But she has changed her mind. She now wants to hear the media giant's franchise right away. Siyempre, para malaman mo, uh, makatwiran ba na i-renew ang franchise? Makatwiran ba na buwagin ang franchise? Paano mo malalaman yan kung walang pagdinig? But is the Senate allowed to act on a franchise bill before the House passes it? Post said simultaneous hearings are permissible as long as they will not release a committee report ahead of the lower chamber. We respect Congress and their mandate to hear local bills including franchises and that it should emanate from them. But since I think it's reasonable for us to be worried at this point because the end of the franchise is already the end of March. Poe clarified the move neither undermines Congress nor does it pressure their counterparts. In fact, according to Poe, Congress has to finish their proceedings before the franchise renewal becomes final. At least dito sa Senado, naisiwalat namin ang aming um, pag, pag unawa dito sa issue na ito at maintindihan rin ng ating mga kababayan. The senator said she plans to invite Solicitor General Jose Calida in the hearing but only if he wants to, as well as groups opposing the network's franchise renewal. Post colleague, Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drillon filed a joint resolution extending the broadcaster's franchise until December 31, 2022, while Congress is still deliberating. Uh, on March 13, you have 11,000 families who would have no livelihood. If we don't do this uh, in six weeks' time, uh, the continued existence of ABS-CBN is open to question. Should both chambers approve Joint Resolution 11, it will act like a law unless vetoed by the president. But it remains to be seen if congressmen will support the measure. Drillon likewise doubts that the National Telecommunications Commission will allow the franchise's extension with NTC under the control of the executive branch. Reporting for News 5, May and Los Baños, we are One News. Here's an explainer on the matter of media licensing in the Philippines as outlined by Verifiles. Aspiring broadcast networks, like any private company, can and will have to register with the Securities and Exchange Commission. But broadcasters need a legislative franchise from Congress. That is to regulate access to broadcasting frequencies that, prior to digital technology, was considered a finite resource. That legislative franchise, also called a primary franchise, if granted, has usually come with a term of 25 years, subject to renewal. The owner then needs an authorization or a secondary franchise from the National Telecommunications Commission. Now, again, why is all this necessary? Broadcast frequencies are limited. You can only have so many stations airing on channels. Too many and signals will become too close to each other, potentially interfering with each other. This is why the NTC's Radio Spectrum Planning Division was set up. It provides long-term policies in planning, coordinating, regulating, and administering the use of radio spectrum. Now, unlike free-to-air TV that broadcast on these limited frequencies, cable networks do not need a secondary franchise. That requirement also does not exist for print and online media.